Meanwhile, we're getting a lot of insight today into the Fed's upcoming trial against John Wiley Price, including something that taxpayers will have to pay for. CBS 11's Jack Fink live for us in the Dallas newsroom to walk us through the latest. Jack? Well, Doug, taxpayers are now going to be picking up the tab for political consultant Kathy Neely's defense from now through the end of her trial. This after a federal judge ruled that she can have a court-appointed attorney. The judge already allowed Commissioner Price's chief of staff, Daphne Fain, to have a court-appointed lawyer as well. In the meantime, an expert I spoke with today says the government's case appears strong. The work that I do, most people would find to be very tedious and very boring. As a forensic accountant, Larry Cantor follows the money, where it comes from and where it goes. The amount of work that went into this was, was just staggering. From an accounting standpoint, Cantor says he's impressed with a 107-page public corruption indictment against Dallas County Commissioner John Wally Price, his chief of staff, Daphne Fain, his political consultant, Kathy Neely, and businessman Christian Campbell. All pleaded not guilty. To put this case together, Cantor says the FBI and IRS had to review multiple email and phone accounts. He says they also would have had to look through multiple fax machine records as well. Cantor says they also had to go through years of records involving meetings and county contracts. Prosecutors say during that time, Neely, Fain, and Campbell gave Price about $1 million after he fixed and secured county contracts for Neely's business clients. It looks very solid, and they put it all together, and they mapped it, and that's very, very difficult. Cantor has testified at nearly two dozen trials and worked on cases involving the savings and loans crisis in the 1980s. He says explaining the Price case to the jurors could prove challenging. I wasn't on the stand when they fell asleep, but I've seen them fall asleep in the, in the, in the jury box just because the entire set of facts is so tedious and so difficult and so detailed, and they just don't want to follow it. And Cantor says that prosecutors are really going to need to engage the jury. He says they should use large screens and colorful graphics to help show how all of the evidence proves their case. Live in the Dallas Newsroom, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News. Jack, appreciate it. So much more to come on this day with CBS 11 on the air and online, cbsdfw.com for the latest on the John Wiley Price indictment. We're using the hashtag on Twitter as well, JWP Arrest, all over social media.